self-defense company here and today is a big day we're going to put together all of our combinations and drop steps and position of advantage and all that stuff we learned and this is the exact same combination this is the literally the first combatives combination i ever learned okay so first we're going to start getting our position of advantage so we're going to get at our proper distance right we're going to line up remember okay if not look back at the position of advantage video Weight is on our front foot. We're gonna do our drop step. We're gonna do our forward drive. I'm starting a little farther away because I wanna move into my jump, okay? So, picking up our feet, right? Stomping footwork. Again, the reason why we're in a crappy area is because this is life. Changes of elevation, debris on the ground, snow, sand, you know, rocks. And, you know, you don't, we don't all live and fight in a clean dojo. Again, look around you. As I said before, you're going to see something that you can run in and fall in and trip over. All right, so that's what we want to do to him. Again, we're lining up right on that position of uh, right on that center line with that per perpendicular line uh, right between his feet. So our first, we step short edge of hand, collect, cock back, deliver the long edge of hand, chin down below his shoulder line, stepping out. Post, chin jab, good. Good, put it together. So some of you have asked about using a heavy bag, and of course, by all means, you can totally do that. And you can use this plain heavy bag, just as you see here, we show some of this in the self-defense training system as well. Uh, but one of the tricks you can do, and I obviously haven't done it, is you can duct tape a tie pad or another pad to simulate the chin or the head and you can even put the pad or double it up or get a bigger kicking shield to give you a place to uh, hit the uh, crotch or the fork. Now, using duct tape, it's going to come loose, no problem, that's what's great about it, you just keep loading it up. Uh, to do the tech, to do this combination again, it's really no big deal, you get at your position of advantage. You set, you drop, okay, you hit, 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 hit. Now remember, this is an opening gambit. It is the beginning of the fight, like you'll see in the other drills. You are going to go insane once you flip the switch, okay. This is just an opening set of techniques to get you started. It's not the whole essence of the fight. Okay, the whole essence of the fight is you going until he's down or you get the hell out of there. Very simple. You don't have to necessarily beat him up to a pulp. I mean, you're trying to, but if he drops, trips, and falls down, you can go. Right? No one says you got to stay. Okay, unless, you know, for whatever reason you're compelled to. All right? Again, heavy bag, training dummy. Either way, you can still get the work done combination that short edge of hand long edge of hand uh, chin jab if you will what we're going to do is we're going to set our position of advantage okay partner's going to partner's going to move in and then we're going to attack now when you do this you know you're switched on okay you're going at him you're 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 going you're basically being a berserk okay it's not feigning i mean he's going to move around and do whatever he's going to do I'm going to continue to take ground and just make sure that he's not getting tripped and running over at anything because he's my trainer partner. But in the real world, I wouldn't give a crap. Okay? So just line up and just go, buddy. Okay. We're not boxing. We're not feigning. We're not doing any of that bullshit. Okay? This is just set and go. I mean, holy crap. You know, I want to be where he's standing. If he moves left, I follow him. If he moves right, I follow him. I am just on a bloodlust freaking mission to get into him. Okay, I'm not thinking about what he does. People are like, well, what if he sidesteps? I'm like, shut up. Okay, you're going at him. Go at him. All right, I, I can't believe that, you know, we're still having these conversations and people are doing the same crap. What if he gets in a boxing stance? Bill's in a boxing stance. First, I'm going to say, hey, I don't want to fight. I'm sorry. Did I offend you in some way? And he's probably not going to expect me. And then as soon as he says something, there I go. There I go. 
It's done. Take them off the count. Eventually he's going to run into something and fall over. So that combination is the first one I learned. Combine it with the forward drive. Constantly hitting that mark of going where he is being where he's standing right at that point. I'm going. I'm just hacking. Chin down, elbow up. If I can, I drop below the shoulder line. Okay? And keep going. And then whatever comes out of me, comes out of me. That's it. noise when I hit. I was taught very long ago, when you hit, you hit with hate. Okay? That's how you train. That's why he doesn't complain. And you can go as hard as you can on him. Doesn't matter. So, that's your combination. Do both sides of your body. Switch it up. Train right and left side. Make sure that knee drives through and you finish okay again this is the first combination I ever learned insanely devastating forward drive momentum hit non-specific target areas okay this general area we're gonna hit something this general area even if I hit a knee and I'm moving through him you'll disrupt his balance you'll own the momentum remember position distance Momentum and balance, the four pillars of self-defense. Control them, own them. Okay, I'm David from the Self-Defense Company. Thanks again for stopping by. And oh, as always, if you haven't already, give a subscribe, ring the bell, we'll notify you when the next video's up. Give a like, give a comment, always welcome. And of course, there's some free stuff in the description below. Until next time, train honestly.